this is Scott Piercy, Managing Editor of FastSilicon.com. Today we have a video review of a very good server class chassis from Intermax, the Intermax ECA5001, also known as the Uber Chakra, which undoubtedly sounds a lot cooler. Sporting some advanced and unique cooling and ventilation, very rigid all-steel construction, and a toolless design, we think you're really going to like this one. So, let's take a closer look. The first thing that stands out about the Uber Chakra, apart from the beautiful finish, is its mass. This is a fairly big server class case, being roughly 21 and 3 quarter inches tall, 8 and a half inches wide, 21 and a half inches deep. And though we don't have any exact measurements from the manufacturer, it's also quite heavy, owing to the very rigid and thick steel used in its construction. You're not going to want to tote this thing to a LAN party or anything. Uh, not unless you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. The case comes with a small parts bag, including a little mainboard speaker should you wish to be annoyed to death by one. The screws and mounts included are just adequate for installing an extra fan in pretty much any size ATX board. It also comes with three types of snap-on rails for the d three different drive bay areas, which are always welcome and drastically speed up system assembly. The included fold-out poster is just a simple but thorough guide to the case's features and basic assembly instructions, and it's also available in three languages, two of which I have no clue what the heck they are. Looking at the front of the chassis, you'll notice the complex compound curves, the mesh grills over the external drive bays, the sharp-looking brushed aluminum edge treatment, and the huge air inlet port at the bottom, sporting a 120mm fan with blue LEDs. Being a server class chassis, there are plenty of external drive bays here, as you see, with five 5 inch bays and two 3 half inch bays external available. We'll look behind the scenes at this front bezel in just a bit. At the top edge of the front panel, things are even more interesting. Dead center of the top is where the power switch is located. And from left to right, you have the system reset switch, two USB ports, external mic and headphone ports, power and hard drive activity lights, and something very unusual, an eSATA port for connecting external SATA devices. eSATA external storage devices are only just now really becoming available, but they are significantly faster than USB 2.0 FireWire devices operating at the native speeds of internal SATA drives. Around to the side door, you can't help but notice the massive dual circle design and meshwork, complete with Intermax's logo. What's out of the ordinary here is the utterly huge 250mm blue LED fan. This massive fan spins at a leisurely 650 RPMs while moving 90 cubic feet of air per minute and generating only 17 decibels of noise. What set this fan further apart from the norm is its external power switch located on the surround and a directional control allowing you to switch from intake and exhaust modes by reversing the direction of the fan. Moving around to the least exciting area of most cases, things are pretty much like most decent cases on the backside. The rear mountable 120mm fan spot is nicely ventilated, but it would have been nice at this price point for Intermax to have included a fan here. It also has holes to mount 80mm and 90mm fans as well. Another minor gripe is that many higher end cases these days have rubber protected holes or ports on the back panel for passing through hosing for water cooling systems. That would have been a nice touch. The side panel itself doesn't feature any fancy latching mechanisms and is secured with your typical thumb screws. The most exciting part of the side panel itself, once you open it, is the absolutely massive 250 millimeter fan. This thing is just freaking huge. Oh, and it's very, very blue. Looking inside the case, you begin to understand why the case is just so heavy. Utilizing heavy gauge steel construction throughout this case, this thing is solid as a tank. Also, to avoid the necessity of blood transfusions, all edges are either milled or rolled 
so you don't end up bleeding all over the place when you build your system. The external and internal drive capacities of this case are immense and far beyond the needs of most users. Five external 5-inch bays and eight 3.5-inch bays, with two of them uh, capable of being external, should be all the drive bays that anyone would need. All the drive bays are toolless as well and with the provided drive rails for each area. Installing drives is just simple. The hard drive mounting area has the drives facing outward like a lot of new cases do, which makes swapping drives in and out of the case quite easy. Whee! Keep in mind, however, when choosing a power supply for a case like this, you will need a power supply with a bit longer than typical D-shell or SATA power connectors in order to ensure a clean wiring job. The rear shelf for the power supply is quite sturdy and should be able to support the heaviest and longest of power supplies, even dual many redundant supplies used in server chassis, which are quite long and heavy. The rear PSU mounting plate is removable just for this reason, as some server class PSUs would require a different bolt pattern than a desktop PSU, or some may even need the plate to be flipped. The lower rear features the seven typical external slots you almost always find on almost any case. What's nice here is there is a provided latch allowing you, should you choose to, to avoid having to use screws to mount your internal PCI or PCI Express cards. Having said that, many higher end cards are quite heavy and some dual slot graphics card designs will have issues with this latching mechanism. Thankfully, the latching mechanism is removable and you can use traditional screws to mount your cards. The cabling for top panel switches and lights, USB, HD audio, and eSATA are all well shielded and more than long enough to deal with most any cable routing issues. The HD audio cable also includes separate pinouts. Should you have a motherboard that doesn't have a standard HD audio header, which is a nice and often neglected feature. Pulling off the front bezel is quite easy after you depress three plastic latches on the inside front of the tower. Looking at all the external drive bays and the fan inlet from this side, you'll notice that each of these areas features its own little piece of mesh filter material which can be easily removed and cleaned. Very nice touch. Finally, looking at the bare front of the chassis, you'll notice there are lots and lots of holes to ensure adequate ventilation. Towards the bottom of the front of the chassis, you'll also notice the mount for the 120 millimeter fan. Though the fan itself is mounted into this blue plastic shield with screws, the actual assembly itself is removable for easy cleaning. And before I forget it, let's scoot around a little bit here and take a look. The chassis also features four fold-out feet uh, that can be folded out or collapsed back under it uh, should you need the extra support for the chassis. Overall, this is a very impressive case. Rivaled only by my own personal and rather ancient Antec Soho Tower, this is one sturdy, heavy, and well-built chassis. Everything from the overall weight to the general construction and the subtle attention to details just screams quality. It's also quite an attractive case and one of the first I've ever seen to implement an eSATA port in its design. If Intermax had included a rear fan and some rear cutouts for water cooling, this case would have been perfect. As it stands, it's almost perfect, and should you find yourself in need of a robust and attractive full tower chassis, we highly recommend the Intermax ECA 5001 Uber Chakra. Oh, and, and, and the lights, they're, they're uber cool, very uber cool. Till next time, be sure to visit FastSilicon.com for all of our exciting and in-depth reviews and news. And don't forget to visit SiliconNews.net where you can get all of your tech news in one convenient place. Bye for now.